This morning, we're following through on a story that we first told you about last week. It deals with pay-to-stay protections. Cuyahoga County Councilman Dale Miller wants to extend countywide. Our Remy Mary first told us about the proposal, and this morning she explains there are questions about how it could work. Housing is something every human should be having. The fight to protect Cuyahoga County renters from being evicted is now at a standstill. The county's law department issued a legal opinion that this legislation is preempted by state law and that that we may not be able to proceed. County Councilman Dell Miller says it's in reference to House Bill 430. That law prevents counties, townships, or municipal corporations from controlling rights and obligations like rent control and rent stabilization between tenants and landlords. Miller says council members aren't sure how state rules would apply to his proposed legislation yet because he says there are other legal opinions that say pay to stay protections like the ones he's proposing are within local control. We just need more time to, uh, to sort out the legal situation and to uh, determine whether we have a path forward. Pay to stay protections are currently in place in eight municipalities, including right here in Lakewood, where the Legal Aid Society of Cleveland says they haven't seen any challenges to those existing ordinances. Pay to stay does not change the terms of the lease between the landlord and tenant and pay to stay helps both parties. The landlord walks away with their rent, late fees and court costs being paid for by the tenant and the tenant gets to stay in their home. Elizabeth Zach says the society isn't commenting on the legality of what's going on in Cuyahoga County, but she and renters like Philip Pettigrew are hopeful things will work out to help keep families in their homes. You know, you never know what someone's going through. You never know if they have to bounce back. In Cuyahoga County, Remy Murray, News 5.